Amen. Let's rise up upon our feet for prayer. Something more than God Something more than God The word of God in the heart of man Is something more than God More than God We need it more than gold. We need it more than silver. The word of God in the head of man is something more than gold. Amen. Gold. Silver. Something more than gold Something more than silver The word of God in the heart of man Is something more than gold Gold Silver the word of God in the heart of man is something more than gold. You need it more than gold. You need it more than silver. The word of God in the heart of man is something more than gold. Amen. Ask for it from the Lord. Let him give you your word. Ask for it. Thank you, Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, you want to speak to your children, your leaders. You want to draw their attention. You want them to understand your mind. You want them to know what you desire of them. You want them, the way you use this word, to pity you. Do I say so? Or rather you want them to reject the devil and come to you fully. Speak to us, Father. And grant them listening ear. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Horemon 
a consecrated ministry unto God. Horemo, Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. A consecrated ministry unto God. Want us to know that Holiness Revival Movement worldwide is a ministry consecrated unto God. Dedicated unto God. Holy. Given up to God. Yes. It's like Hannah dedicated Samuel to the Lord in first Samuel. First Samuel verse chapter one verse twenty seven. For this child I prayed and the Lord had given me my petition which I asked of him. Therefore also I have lent him to the Lord. I have dedicated him to the Lord. I have consecrated him to the Lord. I have given him to the Lord. Yes. As long as he liveth, he shall be lent to the Lord. He shall be dedicated to the Lord. He shall be consecrated unto the Lord. That is what it means. This ministry is consecrated to the Lord. There are many ministries. But righteousness and holiness is not being practiced in such ministries or churches. There are many assemblies who do their own thing. They are not being run after the will of God. They are not being run by the way of God. They are not being run according to scriptures. No. But Horemom, Holiness Revival Movement, is dedicated to the Lord. Consecrated to the Lord. It is to be run according to the will of God. According to the ways of God. We have this song which the Lord has given to us to be a prayer song concerning our life in this movement. Lord, teach us your word. Lord, teach us your word. We want to know your word. Lord, teach us your word. Teach us your word. Teach us your word. Oh, Lord, teach us. We want to know your word. I God. Lord, teach us your way. God, teach us your way. We want to know your way. God, teach us your way. God, teach us your way. We want to know your way. Father, teach us. We want to know your way, Lord. My God. We 
We want to know your way. God, teach us your will. God, teach us your will. We want to know your will. God, teach us your will. God, teach us your will. We want to do your will. Father, teach us. We want to do your will, my God. Are you singing or you're just keeping quiet? That actually is the daily prayer of every member and leader of holiness revival movement. We are not careless. We are not careless with our lives. We are not careless with spiritual things. We want to be total. Obey God. Total. Practice the word of God. Total. Administer the church of Christ. Total. According to scripture. Now. I'm discussing seven things. Number one. The fall and separation of man from God. This is lamentable forever. Because the effect is still there. The effect cannot all be wiped away. The effect of the fall. The introduction of sin to the world. The oppression of sin in the world is something that have to live side by side along righteousness to the end of life. That is the situation, the effect of the fall. In Genesis chapter, Genesis chapter 6, verse 5 and verse 6, and God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth. And that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And he repented the Lord that he, that he had made man on the earth. And it grieved him at his heart. The fall of man into sin is a deep thing. And the effect is eternal. The sin, sin that entered into the life of man is not a small thing. It's a great thing. It has given separation between Man and God. It has fixed a great gulf. A great ditch. Between man and God. So that men live without God in the world. They don't know him. They don't know him. 
they don't love him. Even when there is the possibility to know him, they are not interested. They are not interested because of the sin that is in them. They are not interested. Men love darkness rather than light. The Bible says in John chapter 3, John chapter 3 verse 18 Yes It says He that believeth on him is not condemned but he that believeth not is condemned already because he had not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world. But men loved darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. Loved darkness. So that even as we were coming here before God, not everybody was coming to receive any good thing from God. For they are enemies of God. They are not for him. They are coming to connect darkness. They are coming to attack the children of God. When I heard of things stolen from some of the brethren, I said, look at it. All their thoughts here, oh, program is coming, we shall be there. Oh, program is coming. It's because they are coming to steal. Can you see that? Some are coming for another reason or another meeting altogether that has nothing to do with Christ. In fact, Antichrist. Christ, people will be meeting. We want to go and attack them. Mean. Loved darkness. Rather than light. Men. Their mind is not with God. Their mind, their heart is not with God. They are not looking for him. If they have opportunity to serve, they are serving to be known that we are here. We are here not for God. Not for God. They don't know him. They don't want him. If you call them to heaven, they will refuse heaven. If Jesus appears to them, they will reject him. I'm talking about the effect of sin. It has gone deep into people. Like as prayer warrior, ah, come on, let us pray for you. Pray for who? Who is looking for deliverance? We're not looking for it. We like it so. It gives us power. We can afflict anybody we want to afflict. We can kill anybody we want to kill. We can turn to animal. We can turn to this. We can. We like it. Kai. They're not interested in the light. That's the situation. The effect of sin. So that's why year after year, your sin remains. You love sin more than God. You're too big to go and expose sin in your life. You're too big. You have come to the stage that I prefer to go to hell than to be ashamed that I'm a sinner. To go and be reporting myself of sin. You have come to that stage. So, let's manage and go. Oh, you have joined that company that have promised never to bother about their sin, but to do it more. 
Because we live for sin. As some people live for Jesus, you live for sin. Ha! That is it. So that's the problem. The fall of man is deep. Number two, another trouble is the unity of man with Satan. <laughs> In my village, many, many years ago, I think in around the 70s, a man was going to the mountains where pagans lived. And it was dark. So as he was going, I think somebody asked him, Father, ah, where are you going? Are you going over to the mountains where you are with, in this darkness? He said, it's only Satan that will help him. Uh, the unity of man with Satan. Man and Satan in contention against God. You think it is ordinary. It's as deep to the highest leadership of Christianity. As deep to the highest leadership of holiness revival movement. Even a new thing that the Lord is doing. Man and Satan in contention against God. The matter is bad. I'm telling you. They oppose God. If there were a way to go to heaven now to contain with God, there are people, you'll be surprised that some of them are in the holiness movement that will agree to go up to heaven and challenge God. If there was a way. I'm telling you, man, how he has united with Satan. How? He has united with Satan. Revelation came while we were praying for Senator Emmanuel Boacha for his gubernatorial candidacy and election. Some members of holiness movement in witchcraft were fighting against it. I'm telling you. No, it must not happen. It must not happen. It must not happen. If this man comes to government, he will promote Pastor Porica. He will increase Pastor Porica's ability to move around and do righteousness. We will not agree. Demon, come up. Sit down. <laughs> you are talking. Ma, that's the pain. That's the pain. That's the confusion. That is the mystery of darkness. But come and see them physically. Hey, God, Jesus Christ. Hey, man. Oh, Emmanuel Bocha was win. Jesus. <laughs> but the Lord says, see the picture. Son of man, come, I will show you. Dig this Dig down here. And I dug. And behold, there was a hole. He said, Son of man, look into the hole. I looked into the hole. Oh! I'm seeing, and I, I saw another thing. I saw wonders. Women weeping to Tammuz. Ancients of the house of Israel. That are standing with the images. Portrayed on the walls. God knows all this. Why have they chosen to fight God? To unite with Satan. Ha! Huh. Why have they chosen that? To fight the children of God. Practically, a woman was appointed to be 
women leader. The women witches and witches around pursued that woman, fought that woman until she resigned from holiness of our movement. Because now, who are you? We're here. We're here. If they, 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 if they choose you, you can't, you can't rule here. One, her daughter died. And literally that woman ran away like this from holiness movement. Up to today, she's not a member. I'm saying, well, how is this thing like this? How? Unity with, of man with Satan is not a small thing to the highest level. If they are choosing who is to be president of a Christian organization, Satan will give it to his members, his children. Because if they are on top, they will cast stones down. Their eyes will pick the righteous. Oh, that one is righteous, we are going to face him. That one is righteous, we are going to face her. That other man, we will handle it. And yet they will come and open Bible. Let us go to the book of um, It's a mystery. How is your heart like this? Hey! Your creator! You want to back up another, a fallen person, stubborn and disobedient, against your creator to, and now he employed you to do evil hey how long what about those who were before you did they succeed where are they now Satan deceived you that they are in a better kingdom in Jeremiah chapter 44 Verse 15. Jeremiah chapter 44. Verse 15. Then all the men which knew that their wives had burnt incense unto other gods. And all the women that stood by, a great multitude, even all the people that dwelt in the land of Egypt in Patros, answered Jeremiah, saying, As for the word that thou hast spoken unto us, in the name of the Lord, we will not hearken unto thee. We are not for you, for the world. We are not for the progress of the word of God. We are not for the advancement of the word of God. We are not for the promotion of the word of God. We are not. As for this word. That you are teaching here in Horemon. We are not for it. We will not obey you. But we are, we are women in authority. In Horemon. We are women. In authority. In Horemon. But not for the word of God. Not for the progress of the word of God. In fact, if anybody is taking this word seriously, we will, we will handle him. We will handle her. That's what the Bible says. We wrestle. Don't walk carelessly. The environment is inimical. Make sure 
you're always carrying your armor. Make sure you're always praying. Make sure you're studying the world. Watch your environment. Watch your tongue. Otherwise, you'll be corrupted. Husband, watch the spirit of your wife. What she says that she does not corrupt your heart towards the members. And you women too. Watch your husbands. If she's, if she's not the original man, he will corrupt your heart. So that you won't find yourself being spoiled by man. Being spoiled. Adam regretted that. He narrowly escaped. The mercy of God. The mercy of God came on him and he narrowly escaped. And he escaped. Narrowly. With his wife anyway. Maybe God pitied them because of ignorance. I did it in ignorance. You be careful that your marriage is not for your doom. Sister Finn that gave the revelation after the rapture you have had the revelation the saints had gone and Satan sat down with all his subjects and agents and other captives that never met heaven then pe people were surprised that a woman will stand up and demonstrate loyalty to Satan and say, I got my husband. Look at him there. Men will also stand up. So be careful. And demonstrate, I got one for you, Satan. Here is she there. You say, eh. So this is the condition I found myself and I didn't know. You were not reading your word, the word well. When sin was smelling, when criticism, when bitterness, when negative preaching was coming to you as from Delilah, you didn't hear? Samson, you didn't hear the voice of Delilah saying you should kill yourself? Show me where your power is, that if they remove it, you will become useless. Useless. Show me where your power is. You were not hearing. Watch yourself. Protect yourself. Wife and husbands. Because this unity that is between Satan and man. That Satan has been able to convince man. To back him up. To vote for him. is a mystery. Against God. Fight him. Destroy his works. Destroy his works. If you are righteous, you will know. When a negative voice is coming, however a pussycat makes its own noise resembling human being, if you listen to it very carefully, say, this cat, this cat, not a child. This is not a human child. So be able to discern the voice. And save yourself. Otherwise, people are into contract with the devil. Against God and whatever concerns God. It's a mystery to the highest order. Keep yourself so that you make heaven. Keep yourself. Be careful. Even among one another, deal righteously. One thing is that if you are sincere and truthful, loving with all your heart, without, and keeping your tongue clean, nothing will happen to you. No, nothing. No. Strike a stick of match and throw it down here. It will just burn and finish that stick. It will not touch the ground. It's clean. So be clean, be holy. Love, I have 
I've rebuked you. I've corrected you from suspicion. From fear. Don't do that. Live in sincere spirit of love. Pray for it. Love your brothers. Love your sisters. And be sincerely in righteousness. Then you are protected. The prince of this world cometh, but he findeth nothing in me. So this is a mystery. It's unity. Yes. As for the world that you are preaching to us, we are not ready for it. As for the things written in this book, I'm not ready to obey. That is what they said. But we will certainly do whatsoever thing going forth out of our own mouth to burn incense unto the queen of heaven and to pour drink offerings unto her as we have done we and our fathers and our kings our princes in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem for then had we plenty of victuals and were well and so no evil it is Satan that gives us power and that gives us protection and that gives us wealth gives us this gives us that gives us this so, we will, we will stay for Satan. <laughs> In one other revelation, these preachers, prosperity preachers, they gathered somewhere and they were speaking there. They said, you know, if you want to follow God, you will have to fast. You will have to pray. You will have to do this and do that before he begins to give you miracles in your ministry. Gradual, gradual. How long? But just go to do, do like this. Today, tomorrow, mm, on top, you're, tom you're on top. Power. Well, wash your face. It's the only first thing to see. That is it. We they believe that the blessing from Satan are quick. Quick. Instant. Was that not what Joshua was telling his people? And where is he? They are quick. You get them. And quickly your name is known. Don't to say you are waiting for Almighty God. Mighty God is not understanding. They look at him too selfish to share his power with man. But Satan is ready. That's why they chose him. That's why you, he, they chose him. So this is it's a mystery. Number two. The Lord is searching for, number three, the Lord is searching for a true man to serve him. The one he can use. Among his creation, the Lord is searching. As to why the almighty God of almighty power allowed himself To be contested against by Satan such that Satan can boast that he has gotten this one, he has gotten this one, he has spoiled this, he has spoiled that. That one is the foolishness of God which is wiser than the, wise, the wisdom of man. How could Jesus go to the cross? To the Greek, it is foolishness. How did the Lord come to be allowing things like this? And is searching. Listen, it is not easy to get a coordinator to send somewhere. 
Never easy. You talk, you see these multitudes. Go and be looking for a true leader among them. It, you, it's difficult. You check this, you check that, you check this, look at this blemish. You check that one, look at that blemish. You check that, look at that blemish. You consider, look at that blemish. You see that one, look at that blemish. You don't look at that blemish. You, it's not easy to find a man. So, it is not easy either by God. For I, I am looking for a man among them. To meet somebody to be king is not easy. You see heavy, heavy men. They are not original. They are not original. They are one, this spot is there. Who is he that has consecrated himself to God to be perfect? Because our God is a perfect God. Who is he? Who is that man that you examine him? You don't see sin in him. The prince of this world cometh and findeth no, no not findeth nothing in me. Which one of you convicted me of sin? Where do you find that man? Where do you find that woman? It's hard. This is another problem. How could people have been in the church, taught the world, and are still not holy? With all these prayers you are praying, every day, keep a record, studying books, reading Bible with, with commentaries, how is it that you still have sin in your life? With all this, I said the thing is a serious case. This matter is a serious case. God is looking for a man. Whom will God use? Not easily found. Not easily found. Sometimes a particular place is just left idle. We're managing. But who is going to be the leader there? Who? Which person is qualified? Which man is qualified and his wife is also qualified? Which one is qualified? And his wife is also qualified. Where do we find Zachariah and Elizabeth? That will give birth to John the Baptist. The forerunner of Jesus Christ. In Psalm 89 verse 20. Psalm 89 verse 20 I have found David my servant with my holy oil have I anointed him with whom my hand shall be established my arm also shall strengthen him. Yes. I have found David. He got that man in David. About six of his brothers passed before the Lord. They were not the ones. They were not. Envy was in them. Lack of love was in them. 
But he found someone. Brethren, you were found. I'm talking to you, righteous one. God found you. He said in Acts chapter 13, verse 22. Acts 13, verse 22. And when he had removed him, he raised up unto them David to be their king, to whom also he gave testimony and said, I have found David, the son of Jesse, a man after mine own heart, who shall fulfill all my will. Thank you, Father. Thank you for finding David. David, we are grateful to God for you that you consecrated yourself to him. That you separated yourself from iniquity. God also planned for you and gave you a profession that will keep you away from iniquity. He sent you to the wilderness so you will not be among your brethren and learn their bad character. Yes. I have found David. That a woman will be among the women leaders but when she comes here she keeps herself doesn't associate with backsliders, evil speakers, proud women. The word of God doesn't change them. They are now looking for change. They don't have humility. They want to make a show of themselves. But you keep yourself clean and holy. You are a treasure to the living God. You are a treasure to the living God. It's wonderful. God is the one giving you training. Passing you to, through various circumstances so that he will find you tomorrow. You will be the man tomorrow. Yes. He passed you through various circumstances so that tomorrow you will be the woman trained by him preserved <laughs> I tell you revelation a revelation came and said there were some specific ministers in my day in deeper life who were actual pastors after God's heart. But demons made up their mind to attack those ministers. And some he said but about three or so died before this demon started their business. And they really affected many. I was one of them. So, the Lord brought me out. He brought me out and they didn't see because it was an occultic woman that came to be revealing this. She came into deeper life, into holiness movement, thinking to tempt Pastor Paul Rica. And so, when her powers felt, she brought out this. That actually, we were working on these people. But 
Even some of them that left the palace will pursue them to their ministry and pull them down there. As for you, we didn't know how you left the palace. We didn't hear about you again. <laughs> Where is this person? We started asking, Where is Paul? They say he left the palace. Where is he? Amen. Where is he? We don't know anything about him. Ah. So it is until now. I think this dream is either three weeks old or two weeks old or whatever. Until now, we came to discover that. By the time we came to know, you're already a big person. <laughs> Hallelujah. The Lord said, This is what I did with you. When I was bringing you out of deeper life, I passed you through a mist. You know, you can't look through a mist. It's darkly like this. I passed you through it. So they didn't, you just seemed to disappear. And they didn't know where you were coming from. They couldn't see you. He went this way. Where is he? I didn't allow them to know you. Until you came out from another side. I met you to be walking as if you are not in Nigeria. They couldn't find you. That is why she is saying now. That they didn't know where you were. May God protect your life. Yes. God preserves you. For his, himself. Then. If this be so. That the Lord found you. Then the next thing is purging. Purge yourself. Cleanse yourself. Wash yourself. Perfect yourself. God has found you. Let God find one man. He will revenge upon Satan. Is Satan not one being that is doing all these uh, evil wonders? Let God find a man. He will achieve much through that man. Didn't Jesus come as a man to the earth? Did he not destroy the works of the devil? Destroy Satan? Let God find a man. Humanity shall rejoice. Salvation shall come to mankind. Let God find you. I'm telling you, you will bless the world. Yes. Purging. Purge yourself. In 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 19 to 21 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 19 Nevertheless the foundation of God's standard sure having the seal the Lord knoweth them that are his and let everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. But in a great house, there are not only vessels of gold and of silver, but also of wood and of earth, and some to honor and some to dishonor. If a man therefore purge himself from this, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified, and meet for the master's use, and prepared unto every good work. In a great house, there are different vessels. 
you have the dish you give somebody to wash his hands and wash dead into you have also a container that you can sweep deaths into you have different 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 containers some of these dishes you preserve for honorable use for special use for special occasion for visitors that could come and when these visitors come they use them and you feel happy but some you can give food to dogs inside that's what God says and they're all vessels in your house God has similar ones vessels in his house in this world not in heaven the Bible says now being human being you can change your grade in the house of God you can change your glory in the house of God from dishonor to honorable uses from dishonorable use to honorable use you can change your glory that's your decision. That's your decision. What makes you now to change your glory? He said, He that purges himself, he that purges himself, he that cleanses himself, in your family make sure you master your home make sure you master your home to dedicate that home to Jesus master your wife master the children to put them in the way of righteousness you're purging yourself you're purging yourself I know of a family of a man of God the family members don't come early to church I felt it for that man the wife and children don't come early to church normally we we'll come to church do devotionary like we call search the scripture they will come after either when the summary of search the scripture is finishing or has finished i will watch and see them come where are these people trying to pollute their father where are these people trying to disgrace their father why are they disqualifying this man? These things have to be pushed away from your family. You are presenting yourself to God and there are deaths in your life. If God keeps quiet, does he not also keep quiet with, the, with these prosperity preachers? Has he accepted them? I know Abraham that he will command his family and his household after him. He will command his children. Command. Command. Come up. Stand up from there. Wake up from that place. Command. His children and household after him that they may obey the word of the Lord. That the Lord may cause, may bring upon Abraham that which he has promised concerning him. You have to labor over your family. 
people who stand like this and never go to church. Your wife will just, well, no, I'm not going to ch church today. <laughs> and you leave her and go. It's a mark against you. How will you come to honorable use? Even it's honorable use, it's, it's, it's honorable use position, then general overseers will have been taught to be in honorable use. It's not position. It's your state before God. Is the instrument of righteousness that made just you and your great before the living God by the spiritual discipline. And your wives, you give stubble, you give trouble to your husbands and disqualify them before God. Others do it purposely. But you who are not one of these purposeful evil people, why are you doing like that to your husband? You don't know that you're disqualifying him. You don't know that you are lowering his grade. That is the situation. He that purges himself from this. I said the fall and separation of man from God. The unity of man with Satan. God search for a true man to serve him. The one he, he can use. If you have, you have, then put yourself to be the true man. If God has laid hand upon you, put yourself, man and woman. Don't be lazy in things of God. Serving God is not serving, I mean, worshiping God, serving Him is not just duty, performing duty. Is everybody, is everybody not performing duty? How many of them are accepted before God? Didn't you hear of a tinkling cymbal? A noisy gong? But make yourself original. Make yourself. Don't draw your family backward. Make yourself original. Don't be lazy in the house of God, in things of God. Don't relegate the things of God to the background and make your flesh, your own personal interest to be number one. Don't. Purge yourself. Be sure of God's money. Be sure of God's money. Listen. Listen. Come, are you the one that sustains God? Is it your money that keeps God's house? Or it is a privilege for you? If you steal all the church money, does it affect God actually? Does it affect God? I don't know. How much did you really give for the war going on here? Did it stop the war from moving forward? I'm talking about you who gave nothing. Did it stop the war from going forward? You can steal God's money and be there. But you're a vessel unto dishonorable use. Is it because they call you pastor? That doesn't change your grade. That doesn't change your grade. He that projects himself. What about telling lies? The cheapest thing to do is to tell lies. And you're sitting under a lie. The information you gave is not correct. And you kept quiet. Once in a while, the Lord tells you, remember that time, you are too big to do restitution. You are in dishonorable use. Just about one week or two, there was a revelation of the rapture and many people didn't go. One of these persons that didn't go Say, ah, what? What? Why? For what reason? 
I believe my ways were okay. But what happened? What happened now? God, I didn't go. <laughs> you think that God doesn't mind with the little, little potholes in your life. You think that God doesn't mind with this leakage. This, this leakage that is coming out of you. You think that God doesn't mind with falsehood that you, you say he minds. The only thing he will show since you are not minded to purge yourself. Holy Ghost was faithful in telling you but you are not minded he left you. My soul shall not always strive with man. He left you. And when the rapture came, he knows his own people. The foundation of God's standing show having the seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. The Lord knoweth them that are his. He knows. Revelation. The rapture took place and one of these coordinators didn't go. And hey, I missed the rapture. My wife is responsible for this thing. Hey, I didn't take this woman seriously to handle her character. Hey, what will I do? He ran into the bush because he, couldn't, he didn't know what to do. He didn't know what to do. When the saints shall march to heaven with Jesus as the leader, marching as onward soldiers, yes, onward soldiers, singing and rejoicing to join the glory above. Oh no, how do I know? Oh no, the sinner's voice I hear. Gone, gone, they have gone, they have gone, marching to join the glory of Oh no, what I know. The coordinator is here. Oh no! Why was I not taking my wife? Why were you fearing her for your dead? Who is she that overcame you on, in the way of heaven? That was, you feared her more than Jesus. Now Jesus has left her, you with her. Handle matters in righteousness. You can't oppress her, but you can live righteousness. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemy. You can live righteous. Right in the presence of Satan. And you're playing with your wife. You're not taking life seriously. You're not teaching her. You're not firm. You're not commanding. And your work is being spoiled. Your name is being spoiled. Records are bad. Some of you will even want to defend her. Even when you know she's wrong. Are you for Jesus? Are you for Jesus? He that purged himself from this. Wives, you are a separate soul from your husband. And some of these husbands are hypocritical. They are not original. You know it. And you cannot talk to, the, talk to him. You cannot talk to him, plead with him, it with a gent all gentleness and firmness to get this man to the original part. He will pull you to hell. And the Bible says, if your right eye will make you to go to hell, pluck it out. That means he has one. I'm telling you. That means if your husband is taking you to hell, leave the marriage. Simple like that. Yes. He that purged himself. 
shall be used. If a man therefore purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified, and meet for the master's use, and prepared unto every good work. Work hard to remove evil from your life. Work hard to remove evil from your life. Everybody say, I will work hard to remove evil from my life. Don't be ashamed. Fight this matter. Don't be ashamed. If women can go to hospital and they remove their clothes to walk on them in their private body and they lie before a doctor, why are you not going to see the pastor to expose your life so that you will go to heaven? Why will you not? That you came with trouble and you are going back with trouble. Not that power is not there. Power is there. You are too big. Or you came here, they made you twice a child of hell. You came to see other heavy women who are not for God. And they laid their hands on you and made you twice a child of hell. God is looking for people for himself. Be the man. Please, this one now is I am pleading. It's no more commandment. It's a plea. Be the man. I'm pleading with you now. It's not a commandment. I'm pleading. Be the woman that God is looking for. For this ministry. For we are dedicated to him. We are dedicated to him. We are consecrated to him. This men <laughs> That defend their wives. When accusation come on them. Do they know that they are sinning? Can you actually defend a person? Say your own and leave the place. And say, God, if my wife is innocent, defend her. Don't stand too strong that you sink into hell. When they were carrying Jesus to the cross, People were weeping, following after him. He turned and said, daughters of Jerusalem, don't weep for me. Weep for yourself. What is happening to me is according to the will of God. In my righteousness, I shall come out of it and shall be double for your salvation. If this thing doesn't happen to me, you will not be saved. So don't turn it a matter of cry. Weep for yourself. So you don't understand this. You're intervening. You're under hypno hypnotism. You are hypnotized. You're not acting in your power. You're off your senses. Otherwise, she is a soul separate from you. Don't interfere in matter of soul. You didn't marry her soul. This, all souls are mine. Allow the father of all souls to deal with a soul according to his wisdom for eternal life of that soul. If it is false, did they not accuse Jesus falsely? Why don't you leave him to go leave her to God? Who alone can defend her, but sometimes will allow her to go to prison as he allowed Joseph. Because of future, Joseph will become the governor of Egypt. And that's the way to it. You don't want your wife to go to heaven. 
don't allow that. If you are carried away like that, you are hypnotized. The Lord spoke of one of such men. He said, the wife has hypnotized him. He is not in his senses again. So, be careful. Leave these women to God. The Lord knows how he will serve them. The Lord knows the way through the way. All you have to do is to follow. The Lord knows the way through the way. All you have to do is to follow, follow him. Follow him. One of these women that left holiness movement with her husband because she was accused of witchcraft came in a revelation and was saying, the oh, pastor has to be patient with us. Hmm? Because some of us right from childhood we were introduced to this thing. We didn't know that there was any power somewhere, anywhere superior. We didn't know. Because all churches, we could go in and do and undo. And there are pastors. When we go for our meeting, it's in pastors. Every day we do meeting in the same place. So we didn't know that there was another place of power. Superior. And we have been told that we had ultimate power. And truly we exercised it. Until we came to hold them all. Eh? And when the matter rose up against us, we went to Mother Queen. Queen of the coast. Come and show us your power here. Look at what the people are doing. Hold them all. The queen of the coast said, eh, I cannot interfere. What do you mean? Were you not the one that told us to have all power? You have all power? Come and help us deliver us from your this way. Show your power against these people. I cannot come. It's higher than me. Hey. 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 We never knew. Pastor has to be, be patient with us. You confess now. Pastor has to be patient with us. Now. Look at this, my husband. Instead of remaining in holiness movement and agree with what the church has said, so that I will go and tell them there that my husband wants me out. My husband wants me out. He himself come and join me here. Look at him. What will I tell them now? Revelation. Telling you. Holiness movement. Many people who are in witchcraft shall make it to heaven in holiness movement because of the way we treat issue of witchcraft here. Give it time. People shall soon be repenting from witchcraft. From witchcraft. From witchcraft. Because of the power, seriousness, we're treating it here. Otherwise, they won't be saved. Otherwise, if you don't take the iron into the fire to make it hot, you can't sharpen it. However, you hit it, it will not, be, it will not carry shape. It is when it is hot. We make it hot. Is then you can sharpen them. So, brethren, be the man that the Lord will use 
in your nation. Don't be a fearful man. Hey. Maybe the case of witchcraft came. They say, eh, this man is a witch. This one, uh, you people go and treat it. Don't call my name there. <laughs> I don't want anybody to come to me in the night. Don't go and call my name there. Eh? Policeman can handle armed robbers. Handle the big them. Bah! No power more, no divine power backing them. Than the power of the law. And yet I'm robbers. They can do that and be free. And you, with the power of God in your life, you are afraid of witchcraft. You are not the man. You are not. You are not the man that can raise up a church for Jesus. The Lord is still looking for a man. Because you are fearful. Announce to them, he now, ye approach before your enemies, O Israel. Now, he that is of a fearful heart, let him go back home. You will join them. You will join them. To go back home. Because you can't stand strong. You are afraid. To handle the devil. You despise the power of God in you. Or else you are a sinner yourself. So how can sinner cast out sinner? God is looking for a man. The man that has been purged. The man that he will use. A woman. Otherwise the wickedness that is coming into the church in this end time. They pull down other churches. And the Lord says, announce to these agents of the devil, they will never be able to do it in holiness revival movement. Yeah. I am announcing to you, even if it is one person here, go and tell them that they will never be able. Your representation of them can never walk in this place. Even you, your days are numbered. In Isaiah chapter 6 verse 1 to 7 In the year that King Uzziah died I saw also the Lord sitting upon a, a throne high and lifted up and his train filled the temple above it stood the seraphim each one had six wings. With twain, he covered his face. And with twain, he covered his feet. And with twain, he did fly. And one cried unto another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. And the post of the door moved at the voice of him that cried. And the house was filled with smoke. Then said I, Whoa, it's me. For I am undone. Because I am a man of unclean lips. And I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For mine eyes have seen the king, the Lord of hosts. Then flew one of the seraphims unto me, saying, Hav Having a life called in his hand, which he had taken with the tongues from off the altar. And he said, and he laid it upon my mouth and said, Lo, this hath touched thy lips, and thine iniquity is taken away, and thy sin purged. Also, love is it, I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? And who will go for us? Everybody, one, two, go. Then said, Ah, here am I, send me. I plead with you, brother, present your body a living sacrifice and walk for God in this end time to serve 
much people alive. Please carry yourself to heaven. Please be among those that will make heaven. My sister, be among those that will make it to heaven. Holiness revival movement dedicated unto the Lord. Consecrated unto the Lord. Holy, give it up to Jesus. The Lord is looking for people that will preach righteousness in this uh, end time. People that will contend with the devil in a world that people frankly with open eyes are challenging God. The Lord is looking for people, men and women that will stand for him in the various quarters where they were. Remember, the Lord told Michael Sambo in heaven when he took him up in Revelation, I have called many people and given them this revelation ministry, but they disappointed me. Can I depend on you? That's what Jesus asked him. Can I depend on you? That you won't turn this thing into pride. You won't turn this thing into the love of money. Acquisition of wealth. We will not allow human praise. To carry you away from me. Can I depend on you? Will you maintain personal holiness? To serve as example of this word that you preach. The Lord had raised up other holiness movement. In time past. They rose up. But the things disappeared. He has now reaching up this present one, holy more, holiness, revival, movement worldwide. And is raising up men and women for it to revive holiness, to preach holiness. To keep people in holiness. Can God depend upon us? Will you be sincere to represent God in the various countries where you are? To maintain this holiness despite challenges from the government. Challenging challenges from religious bodies. Challenges from Christian Bodies, Christian organizations, challenges from backsliding ministers. Will you stand? Even challenges from backsliding members. Are you going to stand? Can God depend on you? That's the question. Yes. Hold him on has given itself to God. So, brother, sister, in case we look injurious to you, it's because we have fully dedicated to God. And if your ways don't tally, you will definitely be affected by us. I'm telling you the truth. It's not that we hurt you. This ministry is fully dedicated to God. It's like a vehicle coming on the highway. It doesn't mean to kill a goat, a sheep, a dog. This is highway 
and I am on full speed. Oh God or oh sheep, if you find that I knocked you down, it's because you came across, you were in the highway. It's not because I went to look for you wherever you are. Come here, I want to kill you. No. You are on the highway. And I'm no man highways for where we are in full speed. And you you just run in. That is why I kill you. Not because I hate you. If you don't do righteousness, if you give yourself to Satan, you will suffer here. You will be removed. You may be excommunicated. Not because we hate you. But because you came contrary to the ways of our God. And we who have made up our mind. This place is dedicated to God. Cannot spare you. If we spare you we have corrupted this place. We will not respect person. No God said we should not have respect of person. Concerning the faith of Jesus Christ. So don't blame us. Don't say we are wicked. I'm not wicked by the grace of God. In fact, God doesn't say I'm wicked. He said I'm doing the right thing. Am I doing the right thing? Yes, sir. Don't say I'm wicked again. No. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. But if you keep yourself well, nothing will happen to you. If you follow the path of God, well, nothing will happen to you. I like such people. Yes. Unto my be well beloved Gaius, whom I love in the truth. Unto the elect lady and her children, whom I love in the truth. Not only I, but all that have known the truth. If you are in the truth, we love you. If you are following the right way, we will love you. We are interested in you. We will encourage you. We will finance you. We will pray for you. Bah! If you want to bring Satan. Hey. We are keeping pussycat. The pussycat can go and come into the parlor. Free. We we'll look at it with delight. One day. The pussycat went and picked a lizard. And was coming to the parlor. Saying move. Let this break. Move. How will you bring a lizard to my palo? It can never happen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. We mourn for those who serve the Lord in sin. It's a sorrow to us. When we hear contrary story about you, it's a painful thing. We mourn. Ah, God, what again can be done? What again should we be done? Should we do? The preaching is done. Almost to cut, hold and say, You are the one, stand up, you are the one. Almost to say so. They didn't change. You mean that person still did the immorality, or what do we call it? Ah, or witchcraft. Hey, Jesus. Hey. We mourn. Because we don't expect that in holiness revival movement. Or that you embezzle money. Ah. Hey, what can we again do to you? What do we do? Which way do we preach it now? If they do it in these other churches because we say they don't know the truth, you too don't know the truth. Is our concern. Is our concern. I pray for ministers of some of um, these churches. So God remember them. They knew the truth. To bring them back to truth. Quicken them in truth. Quickly my mind goes to. What about holiness revival movement? Are they living well? I say God. 
I don't know. How about this, my brethren? Are they sincere? Are they oppressing the people over them? Are they even available for the walk? Some will play the message and go their way. Do they even do they read the books? Are they ordering these books for their members? A doctor that is not current with medicine, how will he be recommending new medicine, newly discovered, newly manufactured to his patients? How are these people doing? How is their wife? In fact, how are they living with their wives? Is there righteousness in their house? Are they promoting their wives before the congregation? Or the wives are gentle and humble? Father, how are they? Because this movement is dedicated to God. What others fail him, we don't want to fail him. Rise up upon your feet. You are dedicated to God. You are in a movement dedicated to God. How are you doing it? Give me oil in my life. Keep me burning. I need your oil in my life. Lord, I pray. I need anointing in my life to keep me burning. Keep me burning to the close of a I need anointing oh my God to keep me burning I need anointing oh my Lord I pray I need your oil in my life to keep me burning keep me burning to the close of hell. Give me oil in my mouth to keep me burning. I need your oil in my life. Oh Lord, I need anointing in my life to keep me burning. Keep me burning to the close of hell.
open your mouth and be praying than keeping your mouth quiet. You have nothing to tell God.
Jesus name we pray the message you have just listened to is a production of holiness revival movement worldwide holiness revival movement worldwide is a non-denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, revival meetings, production and spread of holiness literature and materials. For other spiritual materials, messages or inquiries, contact us on 0816 3948 or 0805-683-4323. You can also reach us through our email address, Holiness Revival Movement at gmail.com. God bless you. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life for God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved hallelujah Jesus I believe in you you are my
Jesus, I believe. 